the interior portion of Ms. Halbach's vehicle was not available, not accessible to law enforcement officials. That vehicle wasn't searched until it got to Madison. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Police say the investigation into Teresa Halbach's disappearance is far from over. Here's what we know. Most importantly, Teresa Halbach has not been found. However, uh, results are back from Halbach's vehicle at the Wisconsin State Crime Lab in which they found, quote, significant evidence. Now, they're not saying what that evidence is. This significant evidence, whatever it is, is something that uh, investigators say they hope will lead them to a suspect. None of them have been cleared as suspects. Um, and until they are, I don't really have much to say about them. Hopefully, if he is involved, you'll cooperate with authorities. We realize that we will see Teresa again, whether it's here on Earth or up in heaven. While the search is focused on the salvage yard, it's not confined to it. Investigators tell us they have subpoenas for other areas. And now more detailed search warrants and subpoenas have been issued for areas outside Avery's property. County, the sheriff's department, plus maybe the old sheriff has got something to do with this too. They really never did like the Avery's, you know, with the salvage yard and with the business, you know, there could be a accident right there in the road. They won't call us, they'll call somebody else to come and get it, you know. We don't get much record calls from them no more. You know. It's always been like that for quite a while. 